Greetings adventurers! Welcome to our video where we'll be diving into the heart of Dragonflight's newest content and helping you gear up for the epic battles that await. We'll guide you through the gear types, currencies and strategies to help you optimize your character and conquer the toughest challenges. So grab your weapons and armor and let's embark on this exciting journey together. The new season introduces revamped gear types, similar to the PvP equipment system. Now, you can upgrade gear through different ranks. The new armor is divided into five categories, Explorer, Adventurer, Veteran, Champion, and Hero, with each type having its maximum item level. In addition to Honor and Conquest badges for PvP armor upgrades, the new season brings two new currencies, Shadow Flame Crests and Flight Stones. Flight Stones replace Valor Points as the main currency for upgrading gear from Season 2 or later, regardless of its source or quality. You can obtain Flight Stones from various activities such as dungeons, raids, and world quests. The number of Flight Stones you receive depends on the activity's difficulty and length. Shadow Flame Crests are essential for gear upgrades. You can obtain them as whole crests or fragments, which you can combine. Each crest consists of 15 fragments and comes in four varieties, Whelp, Dragon, Worm, and Aspect. Whelpling's Shadow Flame Crest upgrades Adventurer gear, all eight ranks, and Veteran gear, first four ranks. Obtained from World Quests, Random Treasures, Non-Elite Mobs, Raid Finder, and Mythic Dungeons up to plus five. Drake's Shadow Flame Crest, upgrades Veteran Gear, last four ranks, and Champion Gear, first four ranks. Obtained from Normal Raids, Mythic Dungeons, plus six to plus ten, Elite Mobs, and World Events. Worm Shadow Flame Crest, upgrades Champion Gear, last four ranks, and Hero Gear, first four ranks. Obtained from Heroic Raids and Mythic Dungeons, plus eleven to plus fifteen. Aspects Shadow Flame Crest, upgrades Hero Gear, last rank. Obtained from Mythic Raids and Mythic Dungeons, plus 16 and higher. The new update also increases dungeon loot item levels, helping you prepare for tougher content. From Normal Dungeon, 372 item level. Heroic Dungeon, 385 item level. Mythic Dungeon, 398 item level. Mythic Plus Dungeons Changes in Patch 10.1 New Dungeon Affixes, Updated Loot System, Increased Item Level Rewards, New Gear and Cosmetics, Updated Dungeon Rotation In Season 2, Mythic Plus Dungeons have been updated with new Dungeon Affixes, making the encounters even more challenging. In addition, the Dungeon Rotation has changed introducing new Dungeons to Conquer. The gear you can obtain from conquering Mythic Plus Dungeons has gotten even better. I'll make sure to put a link below the video with a helpful item level chart specifically for Mythic Plus Dungeons, so you know what to expect. In May, you can dive into Abaris, the Shadowed Crucible on Normal, Heroic, and Mythic difficulties. With 9 epic bosses, this raid continues the gripping storyline. Cross-faction play will be available right from the get-go. For information on item levels dropped by bosses, check out the link in the description. Engage in various activities like world quests, outdoor events, dungeons, raids, world bosses, mythic plus, profession crafting, and PvP to collect different gear types and upgrade materials. This diversified approach will help you upgrade your gear efficiently and improve your performance. As you progress, focus on content with higher ilvil rewards, such as heroic and mythic dungeons, raids, and high-level mythic plus keystones. These activities provide more powerful gear and upgrade materials, accelerating your gearing process. Understand the Shadow Flame Crest upgrade system and prioritize upgrades based on available crests and their associated gear types. For example, Use Whelpling Crests to upgrade Veteran Gear from Raid Finder and Drake Crests to upgrade Champion Gear from Normal Raids. In Dragonflight Season 2, Raid Bosses drop Crest Fragments to create Shadow Flame Crests for gear upgrades. 
collect these fragments and combine them into crests as needed. Participate in content with higher fragment drop rates, such as end bosses and raids, to accumulate fragments more quickly. Crafting professions can create powerful gear and optional reagents to improve crafted items. Utilize these professions to create or enhance crafted gear that might be difficult to obtain through other activities. The new upgrade system for crafted PvP gear offers a great way to acquire gear. Engage in raided and skirmish arenas, RBG, and battlegrounds for unique PvP gear options. Dragonflight Season 2 PvP content provides honor and conquest PvP gear, which offer unique stat combinations and set bonuses. These items can complement PvE gear and provide additional options for character optimization. With the strategies and tips we've covered today, you're well prepared to tackle the remarkable world of Dragonflight. Keep honing your skills, working together and seeking out new challenges as you grow stronger and wiser. Remember anything is possible with determination and teamwork. Thank you for joining us, and until next time, happy adventuring!